after a long, long wait, waiting for the Bank Newton locks to get fixed. We're on our way forward. I'm just doing a bit of um, reversing practice at the moment. I've used the boat for quite a few weeks now. I thought I'd have a little practice reversing. So we're leaving Gargrave. And the plan is to get down to Wigan over the next week or 10 days as quickly as my old bones will let me to get off this canal before all that weed that we encountered coming up um, grows back. It was a bit of a nightmare. So we butted up with David to do some locks together which is always useful. We're going to here we come. So Gargrave's a lovely little village. It's only four miles from Skipton. And the uh, buildings are all built in the traditional stone. And these buildings in front of us, which is all a brand new estate. It's been lovely stonework and the way they've built that. It all blends in beautifully. Nice part of the countryside. So it's early April, April the 4th to be exact. And spring is very definitely coming in now. The leaves are appearing on the trees. There's some greenery around. Seems like it's been an incredibly long winter. This time of year when the evenings are lighter as well, it makes all the difference. can even forget about politicians when it's like this. No wind, no rain, all out here in nature. So we're coming up to the very first lock of the day. I'll lock this, it's right by a bridge and there's hardly any landing platform at all. It's all an awesome cart when all this was built, it's a different world. We weren't thinking about 60 foot narrow boats powered by diesel. What now? Yeah, now, not to. More than that? More than that?
up to the next one. Just up there. Thanks ever so much. Careful around these lots, they're step free. And you. You can tell it's East holiday time, and that's uh, three or four hire boats we've seen out and about. Useful actually, they help with the locks. Save my old bones. This is a broad beam they've got out. They've sent the women to do the hard work, <laughs> and the blokes are staying with the boat. Talk about equal rights. This is a tiny little aqueduct we're going over, it's going over the river. Don't know if you can see that. River's going like a train. Certainly lovely, certainly lovely countryside around here. All the side moorings, Bank Newton, Lot 36. As I say, nice countryside. It's lucky she put her boots on. It's horrendous. It's been raining though, isn't it? A lot. Tow parts like the roads. There's lots of potholes. There's some very early ducklings. They've been busy. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got lucky here. Got gates are open. Straight in. Serious amount of leakage through those top lock gates. Put the license fee up, pay the chief executive's small salary, and don't worry about the lock gates that leak like sieves.
and then moan about government funding going down. That cottage there was probably Lock Keepers, 1791. There's a couple of swans setting up home there on the nest. Amazing how long they sit there without moving. They're busy. So we're just at the top of the um, Newton Bank locks, setting off for Barn Oldswick before the rain and the wind comes today, I think. we've had over the last few weeks it's very evident here feels like a lake there's even an egret through this wooded cutting you can hear the birds singing in the tree in the water. A fabulous old bridge. Well, it's the parish church of St. Peter, tucked away over there. Just another scenic part of the canal. Beautiful summer's day. This would be absolutely glorious. This is swans building a nest. Oh, we've got an egg there. A couple of eggs I can see in it. on the Grimmerfield locks. It's a real April day today. Drama this morning, try to sort that out. 